Hi all, if you are a returning viewer, welcome back. If you are new, welcome. My name is Amira, and today guys, we are gonna do something that I haven't done in a hot, hot minute, and that is a new makeup releases because we have lots of new makeup. We have the Sephora sale coming up, and I'm ready to shop, so let's get into it. So first up guys, there's a couple of things on this list or in this video that I wanna talk about that have already been released that are a little bit older. But because I haven't done this in a while, I do want to talk about them. I want to mention them because they are things that are sort of on my wish list and things that have me intrigued, that'll caught my eye. So first up, let's talk about the new Glossier Cloud Paint Seamless Cheek Color. Um, they call it a blush bronzer, but it's, it's, it's a bronzer. Um, they have come out with five shades and I am curious. I have never tried any of the, I didn't try the Cloud Paint blushes. I haven't tried a ton of Glossier products just in general I have the the foundation I have never tried the concealer I like the foundation a lot so this kind of has me intrigued because you know we're getting into the warmer season and I think that's the reason why brands are coming out with more bronzers because everyone's going to want to be bronzed up and glowy and I am no exception to that rule so for me I am very intrigued by these I think if I'm going to pick something up it's probably going to be the shade coast um, because it is the it's the fourth one second to last as far as deep as as far as tone goes i also like the other one um swept so i might change i have to see what they look like if they have these in stores and i get a chance to see them in store when the sale starts um i'm going to be traveling literally on the day that the sale starts so i don't know um, but this is on my wish list. Also on my wish list as far as bronzers go are the new RMS Beauty Redimension Hydro Bronzers. Now, if you all know, if you've been on my channel for a while and you watched my video ranking the foundations that I tried in 2023, the RMS foundation was, um, I, I think I also ranked that as one of my most disappointing products of 2023. I disliked that foundation so much. It just we did not get along but everyone raves about the rms bronzer like blush formula and the bronzer formula seems to be quite similar um i'm very interested in trying the bronzer and the blush so i might pick up one of the bronzers um i believe they're they're available to be looked at on the rms website but they're not available for sale as of when i'm filming this but if i do decide to pick one up i think i'm going to pick up tan lines it's really pretty and it's um it says an endless summer tan with neutral undertones for medium skin sounds good to me pat mcgrath has just um unveiled their new um under eye powder in the shade baby pink now this powder is sort of has a huge following the sort of the sort of baked little under eye powder i still refuse to get rid of mine i don't even use it that often but it's one of those powders that are just so good to have and so many people love this powder not only just for their under eyes but just on the whole face it gives this beautiful blurring effect to the skin and when they first like sort of sneak peek this people were really like oh lord pat more pink but as soon as people saw the powder and that it was a baby pink <laughs> version of her under eye powder they lost their minds so if you are interested in that, if you like that powder formula, because it's a really great formula, or if you are in the market for you know an under eye powder, like a pink powder, I highly recommend Pat's formula. It's beautiful. You won't be disappointed. Next up, let's talk lipsticks because there are two formulations. There's an older one that has that is out already that um, I'm sure a million people have reviewed by now, but that is still on my wish list. And that is the new um, Merit Signature Matte Lipsticks. They just look really pretty. And um, I watched Hannah, Hannah Louise Poston's um, video where she sort of reviewed them, but also compared them to the, um, the, the satin formulation and I'm really really interested in um equestrian um it just looks like it would be up my alley and I want it I want it it's beautiful 
it's a beautiful beautiful shade I'm still thinking if I'm gonna eventually pick up 1990 I decluttered two of the three of my Merit lipsticks I decluttered Tiger and Cabo which I was not expecting to do but I think the issue for me with Tiger is that I really wish I'd gotten 1990 so I might wind up picking up Equestrian and 1990 and the Sephora cell but we'll see the other lipstick that I am really really excited about and I am I've never tried anything from this brand but I think this will be the thing to be my sort of like introduction to the brand and that is the Westman Atelier Lip Suede Matte Lipsticks. Um, I These shades and the fact that they're matte so they're like hyper pigmented but they also have like this editorial feel about them like they're a little bit dusty they're a little bit like you know left of the middle in the way that the tones are like it's a it's a brown but it's a dusty brown it's a bit of a mauve but it's a dusty mauve it's a dark burgundy but like it's a it's like a muted dusky burgundy the orange sort of red tone the la rouge shade stunning i've seen these swatched a couple of times and i just really like the way they look they are extremely expensive the westman atelier i think these are 50 dollars each so I don't think I'm going to be, be buying more than one to try out because I would be um, real upset if I bought like more than one and I hated the formula. So we're just going to dip our toe. We're just going to doop, doop, and see how we feel about it. Now let's talk about this new Danessa Myricks Groundwork Palette. Now, let me get the tea, literally and figuratively. I really disliked the original Groundwork palette. I wanted to like it. When I first tried it, I was intrigued. I was like, okay, okay. And the more I used it, the less I liked it. And I really, really don't understand how that formula is gonna work with the Blooming Romance palette, the pinky tones, because my main issue with that palette well i had two main issues with that palette and we'll get into the second one second one which is what led me to declutter it um because i don't have it anymore the shades are the formulations are like that putty sort of cream not even a cream it's almost like a putty formulation and then she has a powder formulation and they're in like the the double pans and for me I felt neither one did what you wanted it to do like the, the powder wasn't pigmented enough for powder and then I felt like the creams didn't blend enough for creams you know what I mean and I also felt that the over time the cream tones faded that palette is the neutral palette and it was meant to be like an all-over face palette I didn't there was not a single shade in that palette that I could have used as a bronzer or even as a contour um I couldn't even get a clean like crisp bold wing um you could probably do your brows with it but that's because the powders are so and and the creams are so like softly pigmented that you won't have to worry about going overboard with you know the, the how much product you pick up but i just wasn't able to get anything out of that palette and i know some people said it has a learning curve but i've worked with those those type of formulas before this isn't my first rodeo makeup wise and I found it hard to work with so I can't even imagine for someone who's like a makeup beginner who's buying that who bought that palette thinking that it would be sort of like their everything palette I can't even imagine how much trouble they would have had with it on top of that when I was doing my declutter and if you watched my declutter series my palette video specifically you know that I decluttered that palette and I was on the fence about keeping it I was originally gonna keep it and then I looked and one of the shades had weird crystals in it I don't know where these little weird crystals came from but they weren't even in the cream they were in the powder like cream I can understand because oftentimes with cream products um, temperature changes can kind of bring those type of things about and usually it's not a huge issue it just means that they have to sort of be warmed up and they'll be fine I've had that happen with like cream blushes cream bronzers I'm sort of used to that it wasn't in the creams it was in the powder formula and that gave me pause and then I was sort of 
clicked back in my mind to he remember hearing something on Instagram. There's something going on over on Instagram where people were talking about that they felt like there were pieces of plastic in their powder shadows in that palette. I don't think it's plastic. I think the formula was just not stable. And I didn't know what was going on, but I wasn't going to put that on my face. And I didn't like that palette enough to take the chance. So I decluttered it. She's now come out with Blooming, I think it's called Blooming Romance or Blushing Romance. What's it called? Let me hold please. It is called Blooming Romance. It's beautiful. Um, I personally am not interested in this. If you guys want to see me review this, let me know. You know, I don't have the other one to compare it to. So if that's what you're looking for, I can't help you there. But I would be willing to take one for the team. But for me personally, like if I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't purchase this for my own, um, my own use because it's just if the formula is the same i'm i'm not i'm not interested next up is something that i'm actually really interested in that she has come out with which is her yummy skin mattifying water powder serum now i am not a matte girl you guys I, like I, I if you've been here a while you kind of know this i tend to like a natural finish on my face um my skin today i don't have any powder on However, I am traveling to somewhere very hot and very humid and I have normal to oily skin and my skin tends to be the type of skin that the moment I hit humidity, I am an oil slick. So I was like, if I bought this and I took it with me, or even if I just had it for the summer, oh, because the thing about Danessa's sort of mattifying or blurring products is all of them have silicones in them and silicones, my skin and silicones don't really get along. They can really pull out some cystic acne for me so but this one doesn't have any in it that I could find in the ingredients list and I was like hmm, I'm intrigued so I think I'm gonna pick this up I'm, I, this is this is a Danessa product that I can get behind I'm I think I'm gonna pick this up because I was very excited about by it and I've seen a few people use it and people who live in humid climates use it and say that it's amazing so yeah this is going on the list also going on the list but for a completely different reason so after talking about matte products mattifying product we're going to talk about something that gives glow and that is the new glow recipe watermelon glow niacinamide hue dew drops i have never been interested in anything from um this brand like glow recipe has never intrigued me until i saw this product and i've seen people try it of varying skin tones and i'm just like yes exactly exactly absolutely so this is going on the list too there these i am a listen i contain multitudes okay so yes i want the mattifying water powder serum and i want the the, the glow drops thank you let's talk about glosses guys because there are two glosses that have come out that have caught my eye but one of them i probably won't pick up because it has plumping in the name and i don't know who lied to these brands that told them we wanted all of these plumping products. We do not. I do not. I am one of God's favorites, so I don't need plumping. You know, I don't need it. I don't need it. I don't want it. My lips are very sensitive. Anything that has like cayenne pepper or, you know, any of the plumping things, my lips don't like and my skin my lips will actually break out in like little bumps from it like so so not only do i not need the plumping the plumping is not a pleasant experience for me and my lips across the board so huda beauty has come out with her full filler shiny non-stick lip gloss that is non-plumping and i am very excited about that i've seen some mixed reviews for it but i'm still intrigued enough to give it a chance there's a couple shades that i think are really pretty Another lip gloss that I was very interested in until I saw the word plumping in it, and that is the new House Labs PhD, what is it called? P PhD Hybrid Lip Glaze Plumping Gloss. Good Lord. The shades are beautiful. But it's a no for me. It's a no for me, Gaga. You put plumping in there, I'm out. I'm out. But look how pretty those shades are. So if you are into the plumping, if you want the plumping, look how pretty those shades are. They're beautiful. They're stunning. They're gorge, gorge. So yeah, so I'm saying yes to the Huda, no to the House Labs. I also think I'm gonna say yes to the new Urban Decay um, 
face bond self-setting waterproof foundation why is it called face bond i get it i mean i get it but also like really really this is what i have to say about urban decay i find urban decay boring 90 percent of the time however they make really good complexion products like foundations and conceal they make really good ones and i personally think I have this feeling that they're leaning more into that, which I think is really smart um, because they've come out with some of their more bigger releases of the past like year, year and a half, two years have been complexion. Um, and I think that's a great idea for them. I think they should lean into that. So this this actually sounds really cool. And this seems like something that I would like for summer. I'm very much looking for things that I can wear like during the spring, summer months um, because Chicago is so humid during that time and I just want my makeup to stay on my face, you know? But yes, this Urban Decay, let me pull up more info on it because I had some pulled up because I want to see how many shades they have. They have, do, 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 let's see here. So this is dropping um next week both on march 26th on the urban decay site and march 29th at sephora um it doesn't say how many shades though let's go on trend mood and see if they say how many shades it's gonna be that's even on here yes so it looks like it is going to be 40 shades it is a three-in-one foundation, serum, and setting powder. It is buildable medium coverage. It says that it's a self-setting, the self-setting powder absorbs sweat and oil, offering a natural finish for up to 24 hours, lightweight for all skin types. Um, the shade range looks pretty good, actually. Yeah, the, sh the shade range is nice. The undertones are nice. So this is what I'm talking about. I feel like they need to lean into this, you know? They need to learn, lean into this. this is, these are beautiful. I think I might get shade 21 medium neutral or 22 medium neutral. It might be 22. I'll put the pictures up. One of those two, 22 or 21. Probably 22 would probably be the better, the better one for me. Even the 23 would work. So this is what I'm talking about. Even with the, in this range, I can reach for two or three shades and still be good. That's how you know you have a good range. That's how you know. Now, guys, let's talk about blush because a lot of blushes are coming out. Again, it's spring. I feel like spring is the season of blush. It's the season of blush and bronzer. So, House Labs re-released their um, color fuse blushes in more shades and smaller packaging. It does. At first, I thought it was the same price point, but I think they actually did lower the price point because if I remember correctly. I could have sworn her blushes were $40 and now it says that they're $32. So I, come, correct me if I'm wrong, guys. I can maybe go back and look at what I spent on the one that I own that I don't see here. I don't think they make it anymore. Um, but they make the packaging smaller, which I think is smart because those, pop, those compacts are huge. You're never going to get through that much product. But I will say I am very, very intrigued by um the shades they are very pretty and i think i'm going to be picking up fire moon which is the one that's all the way on the the, the bottom row the third one the last one i think i'm going to be picking that one up because it is so pretty they did discontinue acai sky which is the one that i own super deep um but and now i know i should hold on to it because you can't get it anymore it's so sad and then the other one that i want to talk about is the one from give beauty which give beauty is one of those brands for me that i never check for but when i try things from them i'm always like i like them so i have their um pick it pick it up cream contour and bronzer it's really nice i've almost i've already hit pan on the cream bronzer guys that's how much i've been using it and i don't hit pan on anything so okay okay so they are coming out with their new dewy plum collagen boosting cheek tint it's coming out in six shades when i first saw this i wasn't all that intrigued but that purple iris color the like purpley one that she's 
swatching on her arm and you can see on the swatches here I I'm intrigued I'm really intrigued guys so I think I might pick that up in the cell um, at least that shade because I'm, I'm curious I'm like I've, I tried the powder bronze the powder um, blushes the duos very beautiful lovely formula the bronzer lovely formula like they it's a contour but I use it as a bronzer because it's a perfect shade for a bronzer for me um very nice I haven't tried any of the lip products ironically but this has kind of caught my eye so I think I might pick one of those up my girl Lisa let's talk about Lisa y'all she's come out with seamless skin enhancing tint and also a sculpt and shade lip pencil now when she dropped these, she gave a preview for her Emerald members, and I put stuff in my cart, and then I closed it out because I had to talk myself out of getting the skin tint. And this is why. I don't wear skin tints. I, I, I like serum foundations. I like, you know, um, buildable, light buildable, but skin tints I almost always am disappointed with, and I need to sort of come to, the, to grips with the fact that I'm not a skin tint girly. Every single one I've tried has either been disappointing to me or I just don't reach for and wind up decluttering. Um, so I just, I was like, no, Amira, don't do it. That's a lot of money to spend on something that, you know, you're not going to reach for. Now, the lip pencils are a different story. The lip pencils are stunning. She has three, um, let's see, she has them broken down into warm cool and neutral so she has three warm shades three cool and four neutral two of the neutral tones are the ones that i want um i, I believe it's one in and two in or it might be two in and three in let me see i'll put the picture up so i think it might be yeah it's one in and two in um, the skin tint, if you are interested in it, is 18 shades. It's beautiful. I saw her video when she was talking about it. It looks like a beautiful formulation. And if you are a skin tint girly, I'm sure you'll be happy with it. I just, for me, kind of need to, like, understand. The same thing goes with, like, tinted moisturizers. I need to just stop buying them, you know? They're just not for me. And finally, guys, let's talk perfumes because I am a perfume girly. Um, and... There are a couple of perfumes that were announced that I'm very intrigued by. So the first one is from Brown Girl Jane. Um, I have one perfume from them. I believe it's it's Lamu, which I love. I don't wear as much as I did when I first got it. Um, it's definitely for me a, a summer scent. It's def it's a scent that, that I feel works best when it's super hot and it's your skin kind of warms up the scent a bit but I, it's not something i reach for in like spring fall winter you know what i mean but they are coming out with a new scent and i think it's out already called carnival and the notes are caribbean mango jasmine nectar for the top notes heart notes are amber ginger and whipped musks and the base notes are golden pimento creamy sandalwood and vanilla now listen I, not a huge gourmand girly, but gourmands have kind of been intriguing me as of late. And this one just sounds, it just sounds lovely. Doesn't that sound lovely? Doesn't that sound like a hot summer day and like a fruity, a fruity drink or your a nice like fruit salad, you know, some cold chopped up mango on a hot summer day. Like that's, yeah, you know? And so I kind of want to try it. I think I'm going to try it. I don't think I'm going to get the full size. I might get the travel spray or something like that just to see how I feel about it. But that's intriguing me. The next perfume thingy that I want to talk about is um, Forever Mood is coming out with perfume, y'all. And they're not coming out with one perfume, not two perfumes, three perfumes. So the first one that Jackie, um, Jackie Ina, who is the creator of, and owner of Forever Mood is the shade, um, excuse me, I'm saying shade, the scent I Am Her. And it is red velvet, pear, raspberry, and oud. I'm intrigued. The second one is hard to get and the notes on this one are lemon, jasmine, and whipped vanilla. Now this one sounds like it's going to be a little too sweet for me, um, but you know, I'm going to tell you about all three. 
this is the one that I think is going to be the one for me and it's called You Remind Me and it is Apricot Skin, Orange Flower and Sensual Musks. I want it. I want it. That sounds so good. And the bottles, I'm going to show you guys pictures of the bottles. The bottles are so cute. And this is just exciting. And I mean, and this makes sense because Jackie is a scent girl. I mean, we, she has her own candle brand. She's always been a huge candle girl. She's always been a huge perfume girly. If you follow her on Instagram, she's always talking about perfumes. She's always showing perfumes. So this makes so much sense. And I also, because it makes so much sense for her and it's something that she loves, it gives a bit of credibility to it in the sense of like, I know she's not going to come out with some junk. She likes perfume. She's a perfume girly. She's going to come out with something that smells nice. You know what I mean? So I'm excited. I'm excited, guys. I want, I want the, um, you remind me. Now the I am her one, I'm on the fence about. I feel like I, could, I would either love it or it would be too sweet for me because of the red velvet and the pear and the raspberry. But then it has oud. So I don't know. I don't know. I want, I really, I really want to smell these in person and get a sense of them. I don't know if they're going to be in stores. They all launch on April 2nd on Sephora and the Forever Mood website, but I don't know if they're going to be in store in Sephora. I know some, some certain Forever Mood candles are in certain Sephora, so I don't know how they're going to do that. It doesn't say here on her, um, or on the Forever Mood page, it doesn't say. So yeah if it's in stores and i can smell it with my with my nostrils our that is everything that i wanted to talk about a lot of it is things that i really just want to purchase i there's a lot that just got previewed that i'm just not even interested in talking about like for instance i'm just gonna say it and then we're gonna leave it the new isamaya lipstick i don't care i don't care like at this point, it's not even shocking. It's just kind of boring. It's kind of like, okay, we get it, girl. We get it. It's a phallic lipstick. Ooh, you know? That's kind of how I feel about that. So I'm not even going to go there. It's just, it's, you know, I guess I did go there, but that's about as going there as I'm going to get. Um, but yeah, let me know in the comments down below, guys. What are you interested in picking up from the Sephora sale? This was kind of like... A new releases slash wish sell wish list in a lot of ways um so i'm curious to see if there's anything that's come out or that is coming out that you are interested in throwing into your cart if you want to see a video of what i actually i usually do this but you guys let me know if you still want these types of videos but if you want to see a haul video after i place my order let me know in the comments down below and if you enjoy today's videos guys if you enjoyed today's video, guys, please be sure to hit the like button and I will see you in the next one. Bye now.